He ain't got round to um <laughs> he ain't got round to plowing his field yet. So I've got another hour. So I've come down for another afternoon. Um, only got an hour before dark. Well, let's give it a go, see if we can win for anything out. Okay, this this is a really nice sounding signal in here. Kind of around about 88 and set us on a solid 90. Um, and I have a feeling it's going to be tin can. Well, that was going to be aluminium for sure. Mm. No, don't know. Piece of copper. Look it up. Next one. Okay, next up is this tiny little tiny little button. I think it's a button. Looks like it's got a mark or a rivet or something. Right, what's in here? It's a bit of jump. Small, whatever it is. Man. Oh, nail, nice rusty nail. What a delight. Next. It's just that. A wee little bit of lead. Huh. Next up is this. Um, I've had these before, I think it's, well it's really old crusty but I think it's lead. But there's always like a little, uh, on the top there, there's been a loop on there I think. Like a wire, iron loop. So, I don't know what they are. I've had them in the other field, uh, not too far from here. Um, is it some sort of pendulum? I don't know if it's out of a clock or somebody, I think somebody said a piano or something. I don't even know. Oh, is sash window away, maybe? No, don't know. Anybody know what they are? Find a few of them. Found a few of them. I don't know what it is. It looks like, looks and feels a bit like lead. It's not that heavy and it's really crusty. It's not so crustier than lead usually goes. I know lead does go crusty, but you know. Anyway, next. Well, I apologise for the light. This bad weather's really made it get dark. But anyway, don't know where this is. Somewhere in here. It sounds nice. It kind of mid 60s, but now I've got it out. Now I've got the plug out. It was uh, sort of late 50s. Oh look, that yeah. a little bit of. A little bit of a china take up something. Anyway, <laughs> that's not all we're for, is it? What else have we got? Oh, uh, where's it gone? Should have worked this out before I switched you on. Right, be back. It's in this bit. It's in this bit, if you can see this bit. Here It's a bottle cap or something. No, it's not. It's a, it is a cap of something. I don't know what off. Screwy on thingy. Screwy on. It's one of them screwy ons. Next. You know when you get two good signals at the end of um, At the either end of your swing. Well, that's this. Don't know why I'm trying to do this and all this ridiculously stupid camera. Yeah, I didn't know which one to go for first. Well, I say good signals. <laughs> there wasn't really anything good about them, other than they didn't sound very irony. Okay, let's see. So it's in there somewhere, and it's coming in now at the 20. All over the bloody place. Right, let's see what we got. Well, it's that. Whatever that is. It's one of them. Do you know? 
<laughs> we'll clean it up and have a look. Next, what is in the hole? Yeah. I don't know. Tat is what that is. No idea. Next. I do nothing but junk today. It's getting really dark now as well. Yeah, some sort of a some lid or something. It's like it used to have a screw, I think. I don't know. Can't even see, it's too dark. Right, see so if we find anything else. I'm sure it's too dark to see anything but more tap coming up. Was that? Another lid of something. No, it's a big <laughs> what? What? It's a big thing. I think it might be a a bed knob. <laughs> What's a bed knob? Oh dear. Cool. Well, uh, I'll take that. Next. Okay, this was coming in. I oh, know, I'm sorry it's dark. <laughs> I can't even see what I've oh, got. Uh, this came in solid 80. Uh, I'm, just, I'm looking to just get my torch working. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm not going to do it with gloves then. Come on. Right. I don't move torch work. Torch. Okay, so this was coming up at what's that? Oh, that's my spade. This was coming up at a solid uh, 86, 85 sorry, on my simplex. Um, and I've just burst this open. I haven't even seen it because I couldn't see it was too dark. But I think we've got a coin. Oh we have that's a thick. Whoa, what's going on? That's massive. Is it a coin? Ah, oh, I need a proper torch, don't I? Need me a torch. Right, sorry about this. Probably gonna have to wait until we get this back. I don't know if that is a coin or what. I don't know, what is that? Oh, I can see a face. I think I can. It's massive, what is it? I think they're facing that way. I don't know if it's one of the one of the Georges, but one of the old Georges with his I have no idea. That's a thick coin though, but I think George um like George the First would he be facing that way? Maybe. Yeah, Georgie the Georgie first. I think I think he had um, really thick coins. I don't know. I've never found anything older than George the third. To be fair. Cool. Can't wait. I'm gonna. Well, you see how dark it is. I'm going home now. So I'll get that cleaned up. And we'll have a look. Can't see if there's anything on that side. Awesome. <laughs> Next. Or oh, maybe not. Maybe it's home time. Crack on. <laughs> so this this um. This thing, I think maybe it's a poker, um, you know, for a, a fire, you have a big rod on there for poking your fire, uh, poking your coals. Pokey coal. Well, where do I start? Loads and loads of modern junk. Uh, lids, a couple of screwy on lids, and no idea what that turned out. Well, aluminium thing. I think lots of modern junk. I'm guessing that's a mount to, not a mount, but a piece of a tractor, something that goes on something, machinery. Some random bits of lead. Um, a little, little wrapped up bit of lead there. But this is and just pipes. But look at this one. I didn't film this because it was covered in mud. I just thought it were a blob of lead. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's a. Uh, I don't know if it's a soldier or a jockey or a knight or what. That's uh, a bit mashed up. 
But yeah, look at that. A little white horse. It's cool. And I thought that was perhaps a spindle wall. Uh, but I don't really know. It's a bit of a weird, weird shape. This thing. If anyone's got any ideas on these, as I said, they're always crusty. And don't know if we can get it to focus on that bit. But there's sort of an iron loop on the top. Don't know what this is. Um, maybe a handle to a yeah, it's a handle of some sort. I would say. Let me zoom in a tiny bit to try and get it focusing on things. So, yeah, maybe it's a razor blade or a handle to a razor. Uh, what else? So that's about it, apart from that coin. Oh my word. <laughs> so it, yeah, turns out to be a Roman. My first Roman coin. What a beaut. I mean, it's not in amazing condition, but there's plenty of detail on there for me to see and even even work out where it was, I didn't think I'd be able to, but um, it is, let me get the light on it a minute. So there is just enough detail on it, I don't know if the camera's able to pick it up, um, but when I've sort of cleaned away that you can make out the first few letters, F-A-U, well, it's um, Faust, Faustina, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, um, senior she is when there's, there's a, I think a daughter is on some coins as well um, and as, and again I might pronounce this wrong but is it a, I think it's a Depondius that's the type of coin um, but any Roman coin experts out there probably tell me probably correct me on that <laughs> but wow that was a surprise wasn't expecting that um, yeah well as you saw I thought it was going to be some sort of Georgian thing so yeah made up anyway that's the wrap up for today so thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe and that is enough